I just came in from my morning workout and I thought instead of sabotaging myself with a cup of coffee with lots of cream and sugar, I would make a healthy smoothie. So in this video, I'm going to make a blueberry smoothie based on the recipe by Dr. Ian K. Smith in his book, Shred Power Cleanse. But before we get started, if you're new to my channel, I'm Denise Jordan and I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. And if you want to see reviews about products that can benefit you in your home, subscribe because I do videos on those topics all the time. Okay, let's get started. It is National Blueberry Month and since I make blueberry smoothies almost every day, I thought this would be the perfect time to show you how I make one using blueberries to celebrate Blueberry Month. So let me get out my Vitamix. I picked this Vitamix up at one of those home and garden shows and the demonstrator was absolutely amazing and he was making smoothies and he left all like the strawberries, he left all the tops on the strawberries and he just washed the carrots and threw them in without scraping them. He said, you don't need to do that. You can use everything. And the smoothies were amazing. Well, needless to say, I don't do that. I wash my strawberries and I cut the tops off. I now save the tops for fruit scrap vinegar. And I scrape my carrots. So let me make sure it's a set of smoothies and I'll just kind of set this aside that way. And then I'll bring you up just a little bit closer so that you can see what I'm doing. So I got my goodies out just to save time. But as I said earlier, this recipe is pretty much based on Dr. Ian K. Smith's purple smoothie. And it is chock full of healthy things. So I start with a cup of fresh blueberries. And typically I will use frozen blueberries, but I've got these fresh ones in the fridge and I don't want them to go bad. So I'm going to use fresh ones today and then I'll add a cup of ice to offset the fact that they're not frozen. The recipe also calls for a half cup of strawberries. They can be fresh or frozen. And right now I'm out of strawberries, but I do have a bag of the triple berry blend, which typically has strawberries in it. So I'm going to add that. It also calls for a whole pear, peeled, sliced, and quartered. It also calls for a half a cup of yogurt. And I like to use the Greek yogurt. And many times I have added a scoop of protein powder to my smoothie. Well, my dietitian said if I use Greek yogurt, I don't need to add the protein powder. So We've got Greek yogurt today. We also need the juice of half of a large lemon. I don't know what I would do without this juice squeezer or this lemon press, I should say. It's so nice. And if you hold it right, it keeps the seeds in. And then I'll save the peel to put down my garbage disposal to freshen it. It also calls for about a half a cup of kale. So I keep this kale, I keep this kale in the freezer and then when I need it, I just take it out grab a handful and just drop it in. And one other thing that I like to add to my smoothies is a banana. And when I buy fresh bananas, they tend to get brown in about three or four days. So once they start to get to a brownness that I don't like to eat them, I pop them in the freezer. And then when I'm ready to make a smoothie, I can just take one out, set it in the sink, run some water over it, and they're perfect for smoothies. So now let me get this one out. You can see it right here. I thawed it out. Thank you. 
get all those little strings off and it's perfect. Now let's get it started. sure I've gotten all the yogurt mixed in. Sometimes it just accumulates on the side of the mixer. Tastes pretty good. This is a great smoothie to have in the morning. It's a nice energy drink and it's not too sweet. So now let's get it served up. As you can see, it makes quite a bit. So I'll make one that I'll drink right away. And then I'll either put the other two in the freezer or I'll offer one to the hubby. And this one will go in the freezer. And it freezes up nicely. You put it in the freezer and then when you're ready to use it, you put it in your microwave on your defrost cycle. I use the ground beef cycle for one and a half pounds. And then I just let it defrost on when it stops and says like reposition or break apart or whatever. I take it out then because it's still a little bit frozen. And I use a spoon and just kind of stir it up to get it loosened up enough. And then I can uh, either eat it with a spoon or uh, stir it up enough till it's more of a liquid and then I can drink it with a straw. This is pretty darn good and it's very refreshing on a hot summer day or after a hot sweaty workout. So how do you like to relax or cool off after one of your morning workouts? Tell me in the comment section below. And if you like this video, there's a blueberry purple smoothie. I've got a couple other videos featuring blueberries that I will link above and link below. You might want to check those out. And if you're interested in any of the equipment that I use today, I'll put a link below for that as well. Now, while I'm sharing, I thought I would tell you the news about my online course. It's product reviews made easy. How to do product reviews the right way. So if you're interested in adding product reviews to your YouTube channel, this could be something that might work well for you. The course should be ready in about another month. But until then, I do have a product review checklist that I use and that I will make available to you. All you've got to do is click on the link in the description box below and it will give you immediate access to the checklist. Now here's the thing. Sometimes these emails go into your promotional box. So if you confirm, well, you'll need to confirm. And if you look for the email and you don't find it, check in your spam or your junk folder. And then once you confirm, then you'll get immediate access to the checklist. And again, you might need to check in your promotional box or your spam folder. So I'm so excited. So I'll tell you more about that when it's available. But I thought in the meantime, just in case you wanted to start doing product reviews on your channel, the checklist will help you get started. And this Vitamix is really easy to clean up. You just basically rinse it out. Most days I just rinse it out. But then if it's been a couple days since I've like really scrubbed it, then I'll get this bottle brush in and make sure that I get around the blades.
but it cleans up very easily. And there's actually two different pictures that go along with this. This one is a larger one. There's a smaller one, and you can mix bread dough, make soup, and all kinds of stuff in it. 